Hello guys, Luftengriffer here as always and today we are going to be talking about the SVD Dragunov, everybody's favorite, it's probably the most iconic sniper rifle back in the 1960s during the Cold War and Contract War represents the gun as the S variant with the foldable stock. Now my first complaint is why do you guys need to turn all the rifles in game to modern and futuristic looking? I, I personally adore wooden stock and wooden parts used for the guns and I was a little disappointed to see that the SVD was converted to the usual boring looking black painted rifle, at least in my taste. So that's one thing, the real question is how well the sniper rifle works in game. First of all, using the PSO scope that comes after tasking is a must. It is a complete garbage without the scope and I really didn't understand why they would sell the gun without the type of the without any type of the scope attached in the first place. As, as you all know, getting long shots with the flat top iron sight is a pain in the ass, and tasking the SVD reminded me of long, painful days of getting long shots using the AK-74 to get the VDV scope. Anyways, like I said, getting long shots, basically headshots uh, from over 20 meters away with Dragna wasn't so easy, at least for me. Now, getting 100 long shots will award you with the PSO scope and personally, I never had a really good experience using the Russian scope in this game. The scope is very tiny compared to the ones used on SV-98 or the Oresis T-5000 and the sight picture is crammed with the ballistic indicator which is useful in real life but not so much in contract wars. Anyways, from the past experience with VSS and the SVUAS, which I really hated a lot, I didn't really have much hope for the test version of the SVD, but surprisingly, it's working out really well. It's still a little hard to get a clear idea where your bullet is flying, but it's much easier to engage enemy at mid to long range. Most enemy will drop with only 2 shots, and even if you miss, you'll still have 8 extra bullets in the magazine to spray along with the fast fire rate of the SVD. So, so far, I'm having a really, really good time with the SVD. The boring tasking process did pay me off, so I'm quite happy about it. I also want to share a little more info about the task MP443 Gratch. You'll need 10 double kills, which shouldn't be so hard to do running around with your pistol in terminal deathmatch or evac team elimination. After tasking, you do get a certain amount of damage drop, but the silencer works well to support you when using a loud, um, loud rifle such as the Dragnov and Orisis. And and it's totally worth it in my opinion, that's just what I think. Anyways, that's it for today, I have pretty decent storm kills here and there in the rest of the gameplay, so enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video.